Well, hello everyone. Hopefully you're doing pretty well. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture, and today's project is going to be a gift. So it's for my, for, for my son, so if you're watching, act surprised, okay? But this is, uh, it's Monday, and some of us, we rise and shine, and others, we kind of caffeinate and hope for the best. And he has a coffee bar, and I thought this would be perfect for him. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use it, put it on the Sylvie board. This is with the black frame. It has some slight distressing to it, and it kind of has a, well, I want to say like pearl white interior that is reusable, and it has the hardware on the back. So i got to make sure I have this facing the right direction as they do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, I've already pulled the transfer out of its sleeve. Okay, and you want to keep this so it has your instructions on there. So you want to keep this for storage. And on the back of the transfer, I'm going to write rise. And I'm going to put an arrow so that way I know the direction. You can just do a mark or what have you that you want to do. And I'm going to be using paste colors of um, black, storm, and camel. Those are perfect. It fits. Those are his uh, decor colors. So this just fits perfect for that. So anyway, first thing you want to do is peel off your transfer. If you've not seen any of my previous videos, and why I wrote on the back is it's there's a matte side and there is a shiny side that your transfer is adhered to. Once you clean your transfer and it is dried, you want to adhere it to the backing sheet on the shiny side. That's why you mark it so that way you don't put it on the wrong side. So you just go ahead and you peel it off. You start in the corner, then you grab it from uh, the middle and side because you don't want to stretch or distort it. And then you just go ahead and set those aside till you're done with your project. Now, and then you just go ahead and you fuzz. Now, if you do not have one of these towels, uh, one of the fuzzing cloths, that's fine. You can go ahead and use a towel that you may have in your house. You can use a, you know, a shirt, t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever. Uh, you just want to make sure that you fuzz it. Now, any of the products, as long as they are available on my Chaka Tour hosted website, I will post a shopping cart link below in the description box. That way, if you'd like to get any of these, you are more than welcome to get them as long as they are available. So I'll put the fuzzing cloth, uh, the Sylvie board, the paste. Um, I will be using a small and mini squeegee today. So uh, the mini squeegee is coming in a pack of a 12, so I just thought I'd let you know that. And I already stirred my paste, and these are the stir sticks. So I will put these items, like I said, as long as they are available at the time of posting this, they will be in the shopping cart link. So I'm just going to go ahead and fuzz this a couple times, because the back of these are sticky. You can reuse these. These are reusable. Chocotour states that you can use them about 8 to 10 times. Many designers have said they've gotten more use out of that, just as long as you take care of them. You clean them properly. So I'm just going to fuzz this. Um, yeah, three times. Yeah, it's still pretty sticky. Oh, right there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and this is the other side. Usually people use this side for drying. Sometimes I like to just use this side. All right, I think that's good. You still, like I said, you want a little bit of tack to it. You don't want to use it straight out of the package unless you're putting it on fabric. Otherwise, it gets too sticky and you could distort and stretch your transfer because this is a mesh screening. It's like a silk screening, but easier. Now, you can measure if you want. I like to eyeball if you want to be exactly and precise. But I like to just kind of eyeball things because you can always lift this up and reposition it if need be. All right, I'm just gonna kind of hold that up. I think that looks pretty good. Now what I do is I go ahead and put my finger in the middle. I go up, down, side to side, and then I smooth it out with my hands. Now why you do that is because you wanna make sure there are no little air bubbles, any little ripples wrinkles or you may feel some little fuzzies in some areas that might prevent good adhesion to your surface and you also may 
uh, find some like little fuzzies night that might be in your your mesh screening there and that will prevent the ink from going onto your surface so you want to make sure you don't have any of little fuzzies there now sometimes on this size I will also use my small squeegee just to make sure that it is smoothed out and I think I have good adhesion on there adhesion I keep on to say adhesion to speak but yeah I think that would be it feels like it's pretty good I think that's on there very well all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the black I'm going to do all this in black here. And I've already stirred up my, my paste. Now this is water soluble, so you can go ahead and clean it. And like I said, this is a reusable surface, so you'll be able to, uh, if they want to change the design, they'll be able to clean it off. I'm just going to start with the black. I'm going to try and work as quickly as I possibly can here because I do not want this to dry before I peel it up. So I'm just going to kind of put it on a little thick in some areas. Now, your some of the, the paste colors will stain your transfers. That's fine. It's going to happen. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You just want to make sure that your, your screening does not have paste that has dried in there. And you better clean it out. Now I'm slathering this on pretty thick because I can always scrape off the excess because I just want to make sure that that does not dry before I'm ready to lift this up because I am doing more than one color. But if at any point you're watching this video, you are welcome to, and I would appreciate it, if you would subscribe and also like and hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I do any other, any other videos. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and scrape off some of the excess here. Now it is winter time and it's a little dry in my house, so this might dry sooner than what I care for. I'm hoping not. Oops, I forgot part of the, the H and the shine. I'm hoping that's not the case, so I'm going to try to move as quickly as possible. All right, so I'm going to set that down, put my cap on there. Now I'm going to put the camel and the, the one in the middle. So I'm going to use my little mini squeegee here. And it is this quick and this fast. Oh, it got a little black on there. That's all right. I'm hoping he likes this. This will go perfect. He's got a little coffee bar and this will be perfect for that. So I'm going to just scraping off the excess. And let's see here. I need to clean off my, my squeegee because I'm going to use a different color paste. I have a little extra wet wipe there. And I'm going to go to the storm gray. And this is a nice color. Yeah, these are perfect for his house. And I'm just going to put that on there. And then I'm going to scrape off the excess. Slip my cap on there. And now it's time for the peel and reveal. Now you start at the corners. And then you start pulling up from the middle. And you slowly lift it up. Now there is some distressing in the lettering, So that is normal. And why you want to slowly lift up is so that way if you may have missed some areas, you can just go ahead and lay it back down and put paste on it. Okay. Oh, this turns out really nice. I'm sure he is going to like this. 
Oh, that's perfect. I just absolutely love this. All right, um, I have an extra towel right here that I use for my painting projects. I'm laying it sticky side down. Oh, I got paint on me. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my spray bottle of water until I can get this to the sink to clean it, to keep that mesh screening moist. So that way um, it doesn't dry. Let me get this paint off my finger. I don't want to get paint anywhere. Pasty paint that I don't want. Like I said, it is water soluble. You can get it off. Now I'm going to cap this back on. Now you can let this air dry. Or you can go you if you're in a real hurry, you can go ahead and use a hair dryer or a heating tool. I think I'm gonna let mine air dry. And there it is. It is that quick and that easy and that simple. And yes, you can do this too. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this. This gave you some inspiration to and show to show you that you are able to do this and you can make a gift this quickly. You have a beautiful day. And thank you for watching.